we could be at the beginning at a very encouraging trend. Think about the 535 individuals who make up our U.S. House and Senate. This collection has some fine civil servants as well as some not so fine self servants. There are those who are brilliant as well as those whose comments cause one to wonder not only how they got elected, but how they have any supporters at all. Where do they find those people? They are unable to do a quality job in presenting their agenda, typically a very liberal one. There is little to no apparent thought that goes into their positions or speeches. Perhaps President Trump is right when he proposes that some of those in Congress could never make it in the private business world. Doesn't offer much confidence, does it? Now, three Democratic members of Congress have just been arrested for disorderly protests in front of the Trump Tower in New York. Yes, this was a planned event. What's even more depressing is that these three individuals were so deluded, they thought this act would have some sort of significance. The ABC News U.S. Reps Raul Grijalva, of Arizona, Luis Gutierrez, of Illinois, and Adriano Espaillat, of New York, were among a small group of demonstrators who sat down in the street on New York's Fifth Avenue on Tuesday and refused to move. The lawmakers were handcuffed and led away. Police say they were issued desk appearance tickets and released. The protesters were demanding that Congress pass legislation protecting thousands of young immigrants from deportation. Protest organizers said before the event the lawmakers planned to get arrested. What we've got here is a symbolic act by three members of Congress who chose to behave like simpletons. President Trump was not present, and no doubt could not care less about their protest. And it's clear the Democratic Party is out of ideas. The disposition of the charges against these three lawmakers is hardly likely to make the news, and will certainly not go down as a famous case in the history of American jurisprudence. All of which is a long way of saying this. What a waste of damn time.